Our recommendations are clear. Welcome to Islam Moving Forward in Canada. NCCM, National Council of Canadian Muslims, released on July 19, 2021, its recommendations. CEO Mustafa Farouk also made demands that the Canadian Liberal government, led by Justin Trudeau, must quickly make these implementations. The demands are broken down by federal, provincial, and municipal levels of government. Some of them include funding for a proposed national support fund for survivors of hate-motivated crimes, an investigation into national security agencies and how they deal with white supremacist groups, and whether they, white supremacist groups, have infiltrated those agencies, as well as new provisions in the criminal code a federal anti-Islamophobia strategy by the end of 2021, funding for Muslim storytelling in all public schools and libraries, as well as provincial legislation that bars white supremacist groups from rallying on provincial property, a review of school curriculum with an anti-Islamophobic lens and resources for Muslim students, Municipal street harassment bylaws that address verbal assault, as well as local community based anti Islamophobic initiatives and anti Islamophobia advisory councils. In 2012, CEO of NCCM National Council of Canadian Muslims, Mustafa Farouk, articulated his vision for a new Canada. And I quote, How are Muslims going to recreate Cordoba, Islamic State, in Edmonton, Montreal, and Toronto? One in which we, Muslims, erase these artificial nation-state identities. Close quotes. Thanks for watching Islam Moving Forward in Canada. See you soon. Goodbye. At the municipal level, we believe that the key path forward is recognizing and celebrating the path forward. And we have brought forward a number of recommendations around that. We need to see action, and we need to see it now. Governments attending the summit must know that we want more than their attendance. We want to see their commitment to timelines. And as we see daily attacks against our community members and since London, much more needs to be done. And it needs to be done now. At the end of the day, this is about choices. Do we choose to merely speak, to merely have words of consolation and consternation? Or do we choose to act? Thank you.